It was on a late afternoon someday in April 1972 when Frederick first heard of him. Him. That guy. Weisskopf. Yeah. I know. He's mildly impressive compared to his companions, Swarspitz and Icebitz. However, it would be utterly negligent to underestimate Weisskopf's deceiving cam. Frederick's father, Fritz, was well aware of the risks, but nonetheless confident in his ambitious yet so brilliant plan. Probably the most undesirable summit in the Eastern Alps, but therefore unclaimed. Not a single soul in the history of mankind felt the urge to claim this unfavourable summit. Therefore, it was up to Fritz to go down in the history books as conqueror of mankind's last untamed summit. Unfortunately, he uh, he died the, the night before his ascent in a, a tragic explosion. So. so yeah, that's um, that's a bit that's a bit awkward. I, uh, I guess. Uh, Anyway, two decades later, it was up to Frederick to do the inevitable and step into his father's footsteps. And on a calm evening in March 1991, the time was right for Frederick to start his endeavour. After a legitimately freezing night, his friend and ground support Heinrich checked in on him. Frederick was certainly not happy, but nonetheless confident, as he had a solid head start. This amateur should not steal his victory. Uh, little did he know it was looming a few kilometers north. Six numbing hours in the bitter storm, he wasn't anywhere near the summit. So he believed, but uh, to be honest, he had absolutely no regrets.
that that was that was it really. Um, with no shelter and temperatures below zero, death was awaiting him in no time. The more dodgy, though, seems an incident that should occur the following day. I, I know. <laughs> believe, believe it or not, this is uh, this is actually what happened. So, uh, so yeah.